Hidden Mysteries Titanic brings in the same mixed feelings that I had with the movie Titanic, as they're placing a game in a horrible real situation. I was always a little mixed on the movie Titanic, because instead of telling a true story, they decided that fiction was better than fact. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the movie is bad, I'm just saying that it left a bad taste in my mouth. Now this is an adventure game that takes place on Titanic, from boarding to the inevitable sinking of the ship. You play as Margaret, a newly married woman to a drunk jerk named Robert, and I'm not kidding when I say he's a jerk. He's constantly talking down to her, and overall he's completely unlikable. So when it came down to saving him in the end, I wish it was a kick him over board option, but in Unfortunately, the best you could do was leave him there to rot, which of course I did. Margaret is a very curious woman. She has no problem breaking stuff or even raiding the tombs of Egyptian mummies so she can have their shrouds. She makes some of the most insane leaps in logic as the adventure continues. For some reason in the beginning, she starts playing around with this eagle and moves it above the mirror and then is shocked when it opens a hidden door. If she didn't know that was there, why was she moving the eagle? Was she just bored or something? There were so many times in this game where you think she's either brilliant or crazy. Using jacks to fix a circuit breaker? Having birds ruin your clothes so you can passes a poor person? Combining baking soda and vinegar to create a fire extinguisher? Or even chucking cats through windows? Heave ho! <laughs> Who thinks of these things? For an adventure game, it's not that bad. I think they did a great job of keeping the game easy enough for the average player, while having it somewhat challenging for veteran adventure game fans. Since this is a point and click adventure game, the basic idea behind playing this game is that you find objects and then interact them with other objects. They make this much easier than most games by breaking these sections into small chapters. Each of these chapters are self-contained and none of the items that you collect will be used in another chapter. So you'll know that everything that you collect will be important for that particular chapter. There are usually only a few rooms to travel in in each chapter with two to three clickable objects to use. So that makes things even easier. I did have some issues with finding the objects since they tended to blend in with the background off Often. However, if you ever run into the issue of trying to figure out what to do next, just push the hint button and it will basically hold your hand and show you what to do. There's no penalty for doing this, so go nuts if you want. To make things a bit harder, you have to solve the occasional puzzle. Normally they're just a simple problem solving puzzle, but they can get tricky later on. They also have you search for hidden objects in the picture occasionally. It's always you looking for 10 of the same object, and it's fairly challenging to find them all. However, if you don't really like doing puzzles in adventure games, all you have to do is press the skip puzzle button, and it will bypass the entire puzzle without a penalty as well. The whole game will take you about two and a half hours to beat, depending on how crazy you go with the hint and solve buttons. After the game is over, there's a bonus chapter to play. It takes about five minutes, and it's actually very interesting. It takes you through four rooms, and how they relate to the disaster, and how little changes in those rooms could have changed the real outcome of the disaster. There are multiple endings to this game if you really care to get them all. It all depends on the way you choose the way your conversations turn out. I am sure there's an ending where you get to save your husband, but honestly, I would never watch it, because the guy deserved everything he got. Hidden Mysteries Titanic is a solid game. It has a somewhat interesting story that's backdropped over a terrible disaster. The game will keep your attention while you're playing it, but once you get to the end, you're really not going to play it again. However, I think you'll enjoy it while you're playing it, so I think the game is at least worth a rent.